crimson flower. Once a merchant was ready to set out on a journey. He asked his three daughters, "What gifts do you all want?" The eldest daughter asked for a gold crown, and the second one requested a crystal mirror. The youngest daughter asked only for the little crimson flower. The merchant set out on his journey. Soon he found a beautiful golden crown and a fine crystal mirror. As for the crimson flower, he had to search a lot. He searched a magical forest. Deep inside, he found a palace in whose courtyard grew beautiful crimson flowers. Carefully, the merchant plucked the flower. As soon as he plucked it, a gruesome beast appeared in front of him and demanded that in return of the flower the merchant must send one of his daughters to live with the beast the merchant went home and told the whole story the beast turns into a prince the youngest daughter agreed to go and live with the beast for some time she lived happily with the beast the beast had not revealed himself and took great care of her one day she asked him to reveal himself though reluctant the beast revealed himself the girl was terrified to see him that night in a dream she saw her father falling ill she requested the beast to let her go so that she might find her de- dying father the beast released her but kept the condition that she had to return in 3 days the girl met her father and prepared to return to the beast but she was late she saw the beast lying dead with the her crimson flower the girl embraced the dead beast and declared her love the evil spell was broken and the beast woke up and turned into a handsome prince the girl felt elated they lived happily ever after Three wonderful beggars. Mark was a rich merchant. One night, three beggars came to his house. They asked to stay at his house for the night. Mark was reluctant, but his daughter Anastasia requested him to let them stay. They slept in a loft. Anastasia overheard the beggars talking of the seventh son born to peasant Ivan. They decided to name him Vasali. They would also give him all Mark's property. Anastasia told Mark everything. The next morning, Mark went to next village and took the boy from Ivan, saying that Ivan was poor and won't be able to raise him properly. He threw the baby over a cliff. Some merchants were passing by and heard the baby crying. They picked him up and handed over to Mark at night. Mark put the child in a barrel and threw him into the sea. The monks found the baby and decided to bring him up. The boy lived with the monks and grew up to be a handsome young man. One day, in the course of his journey, Mark reached the monastery. Vasali meets the beggars. Here Mark got to know about Vasali and it was clear that he was his godson whom he had tried to kill Mark consulted the monks and took Vasali with him to make his fortune He sent him with a letter to his wife saying the boy should be killed upon arrival On the way to Mark's home Vasali met the three beggars the blue on his letter and changed the words now instead of being killed at mark's house he was married to his daughter anastasia mark returned home and was very angry he sent vasali on a journey to his friend the serpent king to collect rent at the serpent king's house vasali met a beautiful girl who saved him from the serpent king Vasali thanked her and went home. 
he reached the river and sprang into the ferry boat. But the ferryman jumped off and Mark had to take his place. For years, Mark had been ferrying people. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.